Wasting some coffee, playing around with this camera situation and trying to figure out how to best accomplish this. Here we are. My office is a little bland. I don't like it that much, but I haven't historically worked in here much, so it hasn't mattered to me, but now it's all the time, so. I may want to do something to spruce it up a bit. I don't know. This also used to be where I used to record um, in front of my green screen. But I do like being right by this window. I do like that. Now I got to figure out how to get situated. my light and everything okay so right now I'm trying to um, get my computer reconnected because instead of cutting it off last night I put it to sleep so it's confused um, got a little music going in the background. Um, so I don't lose my mind throughout the day. All right, so I got my Wi-Fi connected. <clears throat> I usually start out by trying to figure out like Okay, what are the things that I absolutely have to get done today? And I put them on a little sticky note. But this morning, I'm just going to practice my presentation. Um, have my call at 9. My presentation is going to be at 9.30. That'll be for an hour. Then I have a 10.30 call. And I have an 11.30 call. So I'll pretty much be busy right up to lunch. Um, then I don't have anything else till 1.30. So I may take a break at that time, go downstairs and um, and my presentation didn't seem yesterday. Good morning. All right, so I try to like use the feature where you delay sending a message so that, because when I was finished with the presentation, it was too early to send it. I didn't want them like looking through their inbox trying to find it. So I tried the feature of delaying sending it until like four or 4.30 yesterday. So it could be at the top of their inbox, but it didn't see it. So I just sent it this morning. So I'm going to spend some time just going through my slides and practicing my presentation. <sighs> I'm going to close the door so Courtney and Deontay. so much for um, allowing us to have this time even virtually to be able to connect, talk a little bit about Cigna out of value proposition, um, what you can expect from an employer perspective, what your employees uh, should expect, and just kind of overall why Cigna. So to start out with a couple introductions, um, I am Shell Fisher. I serve in the capacity as new business manager 
on the account. So what that looks like is coordinating the financial proposal sales team and continuing to walk with you all through um, the implementation process. All right, so I'm going to speak through this practice of my presentation and instead just talk a little bit about what this looks like. So what I'm doing here is what would be considered a finalist presentation. I work in sales, so it's essentially talking about my company, the products that we offer, what they can expect if they choose to offer their health insurance through us and just walking them through different aspects of the process that I think would be important to them. And then I had a counterpart judging me, I mean, joining me, <laughs> hopefully not judging me as well, who um, also did a life and disability portion because I focus on the health insurance portion. So I just like to always practice so that I never get too comfortable. Um, I'm naturally like a good presenter and I like to be up in front of people and talking and whatnot. But to that extent, like for each client, something can be different and what's important to them may be different. So I like to walk through the presentation beforehand just because my memory may be triggered about something that I remember about them that I want to point out. So I'll make a note about that or just even to refresh up on my different talking points and what I like to say and the examples that I like to give just to be sure that it's flowing naturally and all of that. Um, and ideally, it's really good for me to be able to practice it right before the meeting because then I can just go right into my spiel and it be fresh on my brain. Um, this, of course, due to all the COVID-19 things is being done virtually where we just hooked up the video um, portion of our WebEx to be able to see one another. So it's pretty cool to see it work out in that way as well. But that is um, just kind of a sneak peek into... Uh, a portion of my job that would have under quote-unquote normal circumstances been done in person with me all dressed up and that kind of thing. All right, so that's really, a, um, you know, just quick run through um, of what that looks like. Um, preparing for a presentation. It's 8.40 now, so I'm going to look at a couple emails, prepare for my nine o'clock call, um, do some um, reading through a couple items, and yeah, that'll pretty much be my day. All right. Well, not my day, but my morning at least. So, all right, friends, it is 1.25. Finished up my calls this morning, had lunch. I tried this um, easy recipe for some chicken that I saw online yesterday. Um, I like seasoned it, put it in the oven, let that cook while I responded to some more emails <sighs> that finished i ate that with some leftover yams from easter that courtney made i guess i should have got all that on video but what else um so now it's 125 got a call at 1 30 got a call at Two. got a virtual happy hour at four so once five o'clock comes I'm gonna be done I'll probably instead of just stop I may go for a walk at five um, and instead of just stop working I may just flip to some social media stuff try to get some of that done for the week and then um, look over some documents 
It might hit the bed early again tonight. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so this is a day in the life work at home. Next time I'll film making lunch and stuff to spice it up a little bit. So I'm gonna hop on this 1.30 and two o'clock. Might film a little bit when um my four o'clock happy hour rolls around and go for a walk in and do some stuff. So hang in there with me. We're almost there. All right, so let me pull up your email. Okay, so I was writing down a couple of notes as I Oh, I was just kind of going back through everything on, on this one. Um, so first, I wanted to verify that we were quoting commission at 2.5%. Okay. And then... It sounds like... If we're just looking to go with the lowest bottom line number that we should be going GC because you said we'd have to be a few more a few points more aggressive to draw even on the graded funding so it sounds like GC is probably the best approach if we're just okay so we'll just stick with the focus on GC then from that perspective and not focus on graded because I know that that's what they're going for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were really just looking at all the different options because they were trying to see if like, oh, if we're paying the claims and just paying in the admin fees, if that's cheaper or that kind of thing. It isn't really about cash flow. It's really about if it opens up more savings. Um, just like quoting the leaner formulary. Um, I used to have a slide, let me see if I still have it, that showed what the savings are for pulling different um, RX levers. Let me see. Yeah, it's always hard because it's like never the same thing, you know? It's like, oh, because of utilization, it's this time. So the slide that I have says anywhere from three to five percent for going from the more hilarious. <laughs> you are hilarious. Um, but again, like it says that, and there's been plenty of cases where it's like, well, we only got half a point on this one. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Which one is it? I'm gonna need y'all to be consistent. <laughs> right. So we can look at that as well. Um, Other than that, I'm not sure that there's um, any more levers we can pull. Okay, so I'll um, put all of this in an email to you now. And then just depending on where we land there, we may um, set up a call with management to talk through it before we go out the door with the quote to see just to be sure they put eyes on it since it's a good size seven one um to make sure they feel comfortable and all of that okie dokie i'll get that right up to you now okay sounds good That was, well, kind of my last call for the day. I also um, 
have a virtual happy hour at four. So I don't know if we count that as a call or not, but drinks will be involved. All right. Um, I may not record during that one because there are other people involved. So we'll see. Anyways, I'll be back. All right. So I have clearly finished working. I'm sitting outside now doing a little mental debrief with say hello to my little friend I was out here yesterday um, just sitting outside detoxing a little bit mentally because Monday was just a typical Monday from a work perspective and it was just nice just to be out here at that time no phone which no phone really just means like not browsing social media or responding to text or anything like that which i'm still kind of doing right now right um but yeah it's just really nice to sit out here and just decompress a little bit i'm starting to find that nature is my thing Um, the first time I did my own little getaway back in December, right before Christmas, I went to, well, I did an Airbnb, but it was at, um, this place called Smith Mountain Lake. The Airbnb was like a condo that overlooked the lake. And man, it was just so refreshing being out there getting answers from God, journaling, blogging. I don't even know if I did much drinking, but it was just nice. I did like three or four days, came back right before Christmas, just decompressing. I was supposed to go last weekend too, Easter weekend, but um, because of everything going on, I of course couldn't make it. So this will have to be it get a little hammock or something and put out here it's also just starting to get to me just being like in the house all day especially busy yes it'd be different if i was in the house relaxing but when i have a lot to do and i'm confined to my walls and i don't like the color of the walls in my office but i've never cared because i've never had to work in it so much the sun is getting to me but now that I'm in it, like, every day, I don't like it. But I don't know that I care enough to go through the work of changing the colors on it right now. So, yeah, this is a day in the life-ish, work-wise, with a little post-work addition. Um, I started some laundry gonna finish up my wine figure out dinner do some social media stuff probably this evening or post this week and um sorry neighbors passing by probably just hit the bed early all right well thank you all for joining me on my little journey this week or today already losing it thank you for joining me on my journey today it's been good my little bun has held up all right y'all well until next time bye